When I was looking at which universities to come to, I hadn't really heard of Lincoln before because I'm not from around here. But actually, when I came here, I was very impressed with the passion that the lecturers had and the facilities that were available because we have a building with lots of different animals in. And because I had an A-levels background coming here, I don't have much hands-on experience working with animals outside of my own home. So having the facilities here was a really big thing for me. It's an animal biology degree, so as well as the focus on the behaviour and the welfare of animals, the pure applied behaviour, uh, we also uh, make sure the students are equipped with a strong background in biology. I came here wanting to carry on my experience with animals. I did um, level three extended animal management at college. That was a two-year course where we covered legislation, practical animal skills with a range of farm animals, companion animals, uh, such as dogs, rabbits, um, and we had exotics as well. Um, that's particularly what I like about the University of Lincoln here on the animal unit, which I am now. Um, my favourite are the giant African land snails. I can't say it enough. They are absolutely adorable, in my opinion. As part of second year, I've become a student rep for the course, which means I get to work really closely with the lecturers and we get to have a really good student voice and a working relationship with them and we get to have a direct impact on what we're learning about. Being in Lincoln, there's a lot of countryside around me, which was particularly important. Um, we have West Common, which is a field of lots and lots of horses. So I like to go out there and, you know, talk to their owners, talk to the animals. Might sound a little bit crazy sometimes, um, getting that experience in just as much as possible. Um, and it's lovely to see the wildlife as well when you walk along the Brayford. We do arrange uh, regular visits um, to local, to national zoos, uh, and we have some good working relationships uh, with some of those zoos. Um, similarly, we have good working relationships with, with rescue centres. We will be taking our, our final year students as part of an applied behaviour module, which is where we apply what they've learned across all of their different uh, courses. Um, it's implied in uh, with real behavioural modification of animals, so real issues, but we kick-start that module with a visit to a national uh, rehoming centre I'd say my biggest achievement on this course currently um, has been reaching out with lots of new people, putting myself out there, starting to think about my future after I leave here. We get to do a big variety of modules here and every single module covers every single animal. So everyone has something in the module that they're interested in, which is really nice. I personally have quite a big interest in the zoo animals and exotics and every single module we do has things that cover that. The way the lecturers teach us about it, it is still very interesting to learn about and I'm really enjoying getting work experience in every single sector that there is working with animals. There's, there's quite a bit of diversity, I mean there's computer rooms for when you're doing such as data skills. Um, there's also like really big lecture rooms that um, I was in quite a lot for my first year where there might be two or three hundred people while you're doing biology because um, there can be a crossover of different courses that are studying at the same time. Um, but then, as I'm in second year now, um, it does get a little bit more specified, so your groups might be a little bit smaller while you're doing project work. I have really loved my time here and it's been amazing so far and I can't wait to see the modules and what we get to learn in the rest of second year and during third year.